and the thread that has been common through all of our gatherings in Canada, in the US, and in Italy have been play. Our learning and our exploration has been steeped in play. We like to laugh. Yes, so, we like to laugh and we like to have the uh, capacity to really tune into soul play. So when we play and there is that flavor of soul coming in, uh, the nourishment goes all the way from the body to the personality and down into the spirit. So rich. Have, have you found it to be true that a spiritual path, a sacred path is both reverent and playful? <laughs> yes. Um, the whimsical aspects of the twister and the fool always add a little bit of spice. Otherwise, things can become very boring. And when I, I have uh, counseled for years people who were in spiritual development and they were having their struggles and their questions, and one thing that I noticed that was at the roots of those struggles was the lack of pleasure. It doesn't matter what practice, what pathway you choose. If it is not also giving you pleasure, if there is not that sense of, of rejoicing, of uh, tasting it, of sensing it as a pleasurable companion, your practice is not gonna take you very far, no matter how much time you devote to it. So yes, play and pleasure. <laughs>